Yo, what's going on guys? It's Phantom here. Welcome back to another Overwatch Workshop video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do waves of enemies. And yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's all customized. So the bots, are, you could change the rules if you want to. It uses bots that I've covered in a different video. But if you want to check that out, you could. That's what these bot rules are for. It controls the bots. Then you have the rounds here. And there's a boss and everything like that. So let's get straight into it. I think the first thing I'm going to do is just show you guys how it looks and uh, then I'll show you guys how to do it. And right now it's set up to where it only starts the rounds when I say hello. Uh, you can set up a different condition for this, which I'll show you guys how to do. This is just my condition right now. So when I say hello, the first wave comes in. So this is the first wave. It's pretty easy right now. You can make it harder if you want as well, but it pops up round one complete. Then in a little bit, there's going to be two of them where they always spawn in the objective. Uh, if they don't see you for a while, they will teleport, as you can see. That's so you can't really uh, cheat that much and just, play. for example, stay up here and just shoot them all the time. Now they're going to have a Cassidy. Whenever he gets close to you, he will stun you. Oh man, okay. That's round three. There's six rounds and a boss. Uh, I'm not gonna be able. To, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to complete it all. I'm just trying to show you guys really quick what it's all about. I might not even. Think. Oh my god. Yeah, I have Sombra. They hack you too. This is all set up manually. I set it up with the rules. And okay, this is getting bad. Oh man. They will also ult if you're in line of sight. But you could make them spawn like on you, but it's kind of brutal. Okay. But it's a little brutal. Like they just spawn on you. And, I mean, I'll show, I'll show you guys how to customize everything. Oh, it's the final round, man. <laughs> the Torb. He has a bunch of health. And he does a lot of damage, so... But he, he look, he has his hammer out, so... Oh, my. There we go. And... Congratulations, you did it. And GG. So, that's how it works. And I'm gonna show you guys now how to customize everything. Here is the... I think I would've already put the, put up the code at some point, but I'll put it up again. Somewhere over here. The, the bot rules are pretty simple. It's basically just, they mirror whatever you do. That's the first thing of it. Then I also have them do their own thing later on. Like if we go down here, we have, for example, is in line of sight. They're going to, Weinhardt's going to fire strike you if you're in his line of sight. And same thing with charging and ulting. And that's also the same with every character like Sombra. She will hack you. Bastion. Bastion also automatically heals when his health is lower than 150. He will start healing. The stun. So this is basically saying if I am in his radius of three, which is a pretty close radius, then he's going to use a stun. That's all this really means. And I also use that for the hack, I believe, and the sleep. I also have Anna use her ultimate. I have Anna start facing one of her teammates and use the nano ability when the ultimate charges 100%. And when you die, I have it set to permanent because it kind of just makes sense. It says you lost. You could change this if you want. You could put whatever you want in this rule. I'll name this you lost so you guys know where to find it if you guys want to change that. This is just saying to teleport out of the spawn room because we can't can't be having that. This just says no respawn. Yeah, those are the basic rules. And yeah, we also have some extra things. Ryan will block your ultimate, which is pretty cool. And yeah, now we're going to get to the things, the, the real important things. The start, it says is communicating hello equals true. And if nobody's alive on team two, then it's going to do this. You could change this to is moving, but it's a little brutal. <laughs> They're going to attack you like really fast. So this is just saying if I move, they could just do just going about to pull up. You could do a couple things. You could do a different button if you want. For example, is button held. And then you could put this on a button like uh, interact or anything like that. Now, if you guys want to change each individual bot, you could change it right here. Reinhardt is the first bot to spawn. You could change it. Just go over here and you can put any bot you want. Although, if you do change it, you're, they're probably, they might be a little more dumb. They don't have specific rules telling them what to do. For example, like uh, if you're within this range, flash, or if you're in this. So you guys are going to have to add that. For example, you guys want to change it to Reaper. You can have it to where if his health is getting low, he's going to Wraith or something like that. Uh, so, you know, you could just use the rules I already have as kind of a template and just kind of make it like that if you guys want to. Or you guys could have changed it. It's still going to work good. I'm just saying if you guys want it to be really professional and look really good. I'm going to change them all just so I could show you guys. So let's, for, for example, I'm going to put this on Junkrat, the first player. 
And now we could go over here. It says round one complete. You could change the text if you want to, but just go in here and changing it. And then it waits five seconds, well, three seconds, five seconds. Then they respawn and it creates the next bot. So this is the second wave. Well, yeah, this, this is the second wave. Uh, let's just say Anna, why not? And let's go to round three. You already know, we're just gonna change this. So let's say uh, Hanzo. Whoa, dang. Hanzo. <laughs> and round four. We're going to change this to so basically i'm just changing them all if you guys want to do this uh, i'm just showing you guys how you would do this if you want to you really don't have to uh it, it works better if you don't but hey man you su suit yourself round six this is the round before the boss i'm just changing it to random stuff and just seeing how it's gonna work out and the boss let's just make the boss um well, Torb is set up for him to be really strong, so this boss is going to be really easy now. Let's just say Riddle Maker. And that's basically it. Although, here, here's the thing. If you change who the boss is, you're going to have to change a couple more things. So I made the boss Riddle Maker. We're not going to want to go over here, which I'm probably going to call Win. There we go. This is the Win condition. And you're going to have to change this instead of Torb into Riddle Maker, if you change the boss to Riddle Maker. And same thing with this Widowmaker. And now it should work good. Oh wait, right here. Skip if and put this on Widowmaker. Now, yeah, everything should play out nice now. So let's test it out. And yeah, that's basically it. Let's test this thing out. Music goes hard though. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go Cassidy, why not? And I'm gonna say hello. Oh my. So it's kind of easy right now. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to make it harder if you guys want to. Now we got an Anna. I don't know what that sleep dart was, but okay. Yeah, uh, right now it's, it's basically on easy mode. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this really difficult if you really want to. Okay. Oh, there it is, there's the Nano. Yo, this dude is about to kill me, man. All right, chill, 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 chill. Calm down, bro. Jeez, man, that was actually kind of close. Yeah, spot. Spotting an Anna close in the one of the first rounds is actually really dangerous. Oh my god. Cause then she just keeps nannering everybody. You wish! Man. As you could As you can see this is getting pretty difficult uh, as the rounds progress and they're actually not being as dumb as I thought they were. They're, they're doing the right things. <laughs> Bro. Not the Hanzo. Oh, okay, we got an echo. Oh, come on. I was about to kill. Well, the boss is gonna be super easy. I mean, he's literally a widow maker <laughs> Wow guys, it's the final round <laughs> Damn Well Something like All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this thing harder. It's really simple You just go over here heroes uh, general and you basically just make this hard you could put this on put this on team two that's the enemy team and you could just raise up these stats like for example give them 200 percent health and 150 percent uh with the damage and you could even lower this to 90. now it's gonna be normal maybe even hard mode uh you could do other stuff too their their ultimates are already increased that's why anna got it so fast it's great and they could change how you are as you can see we have 200 percent let's put it on 100 <laughs> let's put it normal and I'll keep the rest the same. So now I'm weaker and they're stronger. So now it's on hard mode and I'm probably gonna get destroyed. But let's, let's see what happens. All right, uh, so who should we play for a hard mode? I'm just gonna go Hanzo. I do give you some shield that comes back, which is good. Bro, what was that sleep dart? All right, right now it's still pretty easy, but we're only on the second wave. You know, you know it gets crazy later on. I ain't falling for that, bro. I'm telling you, man. I'm gonna add an auto attack. Ah! Okay, I think this might be a wrap. Well... Alright, it definitely got harder. Uh, look, I'm gonna show you guys how to increase the aimbot real quick. You go in here, you go to the bot facing bot. I might change my face. Eh, whatever. I'll just change it to bot facing. And um, you increase this number down here to a higher number. Let's just say 500. They shouldn't miss at all now. And we're also going to give him an auto attack. 
I'm gonna add this in. I'm more worried about the aim characters than the Junker. The Junker is not gonna really do much. It's more, but you see, you see how much he was firing though. Oh man, this is gonna, this is a lot harder. Dude, they're not just standing there and just letting you shoot them. They're actually fighting back like crazy. Nah, bro, I ain't falling for it, man. I ain't falling for it. I'm done for. Oh no, Hanzo, chill. Oh, I rolled him though. All right, bro, just stop. Bro, I've been shooting you for so long. No, I'm already dead. Clutch, winnable. This is winnable. We're just walking over. It's always winnable. Climb the wall. Climb the wall. Please, please. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Bro, I'm sweating so hard. Now, now what you gonna do, pal, huh? Chill. What did I do? Well, alright, that's basically it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to put in the code. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace out.